around the stem, obviously you start from the top. Sometimes with some species, I'm scared I'm going to plant them upside down because you mm. can't tell the top mm. from the bottom, mm. but these obviously you can. So you just look down the stem, that's probably not a bad length there. Just yeah. cut under that node, right, because you're going to obviously reduce your risk of fungal infection and disease. And then I would just take off those bottom few leaves. Mm. Three nodes? Oh, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to yeah. be spot like perfect mm -hmm. with it. And as best I can, I would just get rid of those flowers. Because they take up energy away from the yeah. flower, do they? Yeah. yeah, you want the plant to start putting its energy into... Can you eat the flowers? Can I, take I don't know. I just did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll so keep I, an eye. <laughs> I don't have to cook for you. So I, I would, with a lot of larger leaved varieties, I tend to cut the leaf in yeah. half like that. Ah. Some people say no because they need to photosynthesize, but I think probably, that they need to be putting their energy down here, mm, not yeah. up here. Oh, right. I don't know what you think, Anne. Well, okay. it's a transpiration issue too, yeah. that they're mm, losing a lot of moisture yeah. through the leaves exactly. that are left yeah. on there, so yeah, they okay. dry out oh, more that's quickly. That's a good point. Yeah, especially if you haven't got access to uh, something like a misting system mm -hmm, where you can mm -hmm. keep the moisture, the moisture above. Um, so it's so basically we're just going to dip it in the honey. <laughs> what you could do, if you're doing quite a few, you could have a little tub of honey and just leave them sitting there for a bit. Not mm -hmm. for ages, but for a couple of minutes and then... Is there just oh. any old yeah. honey? Like... Pure honey, yeah, yeah. yeah. but just like... Gilbert's honey, that is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Local, local. Like yeah. Any local. I mean, honey? even if you... You can get... Like sometimes you could go in there and get the horrible candied stuff for nothing if you want a heap of honey just for this purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd just pop that in about down to there. Just keep the honey separate from what you use. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> the toast honey doesn't, doesn't go on the toast. It doesn't go, yeah. <laughs> doesn't go on your wee bits. <laughs> so there you go. And I'd give that a little bit of a water. <coughs> Excuse me. And just keep it in a nice warm spot, keep it watered, preferably every day if you can, um, but depends where it is, because our plants are all outside and it's windy, we have to water every day, and they're usually all grown in these. Um, and yeah, once you see roots coming, you can plant it out in the garden. When you plant it out, just dig a little well around it and give it a good drink when you plant it. If you're planting in summer, obviously you're going to have to water it to get it through the first summer. But once you got it through the first season, you won't have to touch it. Mm.